Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. It's already claimed numerous lives on the mainland, and now a strain of hepatitis A from the mainland has made it here to Hawaii. At least two people are confirmed to have it, and unlike the hepatitis A outbreak we had earlier, this virus not being passed by food, but rather person to person. The Department of Health tells us the patients are both from the island of Kauai, but they do not have a connection to one another. One had traveled to California, where there's a hepatitis outbreak in San Diego linked to the homeless. At least 20 people have died. Because the disease can be passed through contact with fecal matter, streets, sidewalks, and public restrooms in San Diego all sanitized. But for the other case, We've not been able to discern any relationship with any kind of travel, um, and so that becomes concerning for potentially this strain has been introduced um, into Hawaii, and we don't know is it just going to be the you know this you know small cluster, a focused very focused cluster, or larger. As it investigates further, the health department is urging the public to get vaccinated. Washing hands often helps also. And while this strain is passed person to person, cooking your food is always another way to protect yourself from hep A in general. Now, symptoms include fever, diarrhea, and jaundice, where your skin and eyes get a yellow tinge. We will keep following up and we will let you know of any new developments in this investigation.